So I'd just like to give my love and solidarity to, um, to, uh, the lady formerly known as the Lump and Third Worldist. Um, I'm going to be very honest. I disagree with dropping Third Worldism. Sorry. I just disagree. I get where you're coming from, but yeah, I, I won't go into it. I'm... I don't want to steal Jason Under's thunder. He has his plans. Um, I'm less and less privy to them, and that's fine. I left the MRM network. Um, the, and just so people do understand, though, I still support it, though. I support it more than I ever have. But um, I'm going to now play this uh, announcement from... Lump and Maoist News. Hey, smokers. Uh, what's it? Uh, my channel hasn't really been posting as much as it should be of late. I, things have been a bit blotted and all over the place, and I'll explain more towards that end. But I think first, I'm going to get into explaining the name change. Firstly, to strike at the blatancy, my name changed from, quote, the Lump and Third Worldist, end quote, to the Lump and Maoist, end quote, or quote, unquote. I, I can do the reading of the thing I wrote. Was a point of, uh, was a point of realization I had been concerned about the claims of Third Worldists and believe they have reached a new stage above Maoism, which is not true. At best, it's a principle of Maoism, and as Maoist comrades explain to me, what I see in Third Worldism as a Maoist principle is actually the anti-chauvinist MLM position on the relations between us First World Marxists and that of our Third World sisters and brothers, and that the majority of folk calling themselves Third Worldists, which I was aware of my knowledge of the kind of bullshit around that, um, oppose my conceptualization both in action and word. This realization led to me making the necessary changes to correct my line and to avoid being caught in the grips of reactionary defeatism, like the majority of folk calling themselves by this tendency. So I have made the necessary changes to reflect this development. You know, like, I've always gotten along with Jason and his positions on this, but Jason's kind of an outlier when it comes to that group. Like, you really look at the fucking explosion with what's happened with that. Third Worldism's a mess. That's the way it seems to me. There's a lot of different takes on it, and it's just all over the place. It's at best a principle. I couldn't see it as a new stage. Um, speaking of limitations, my laptop decided to die. See, I wrote this a little while ago and was meant to do it. Now, so this part of the script's out of date. I've actually got it working again. Hello, you're seeing me through the laptop. That was a journey. So, my laptop completely died. The SSD decided to just commit fucking suicide on me. Just go fucking end itself. And so, I had to go and fucking... I had to go and fucking buy another cheap-ass motherfucking laptop. So I could, like, use that as a word processor to try and deal with things. And eventually, I managed to get a hold of a USB that could work with this computer... I managed to get Ubuntu on the computer after doing some weird jury rigging stuff to get some files off it through DOS because I could still access the hard drive and then install Ubuntu on it after clearing the partition, then install Windows on it. Then I put my files back on and deleted the backups off my phone because my phone has little space on it. Big mistake because I fucked up the Windows 10 installation and had to reinstall it and managed to fuck up that because it was playing up. And just rather than removing my files off at first before deleting the partition, I just got really pissy, deleted the partition, reinstalled it, didn't notice till the next day that I'd lost two years worth of literature. How great is that? A lot of all that writing that I really fucking struggled to do, gone. That's a big fuck up. And that's had me a bit down in the fucking dumps of recent. But that part of my script's out of date. I can now do more functional streams because I got the computer up and running again. And I'm on the Ubuntu OS right now. Um... <laughs> Hello, fellows. I'm now one of those asinine people that can go and fucking, like, you know, and tell you that I use the cool open source stuff. But no, jokes aside, Linux fucking amazing. Like, it's not great for gaming, but, like, for, like, all the other shit, fucking brilliant. Uh, you know, I really advise. Um. 
Oh yes, I'm trying to make the move to more scripted and more edited content. Eventually, it's in me planning, but I have not managed to succeed in this direction yet. But it is something that is on my table. Um, but it must be understood that my capacity to... Oh no, that's also changed. My PC is working again, so my capacity to engage with this is now increased. So yeah, that's a plan as well with these things. I should have updated the fuck out of the script, but the uh, the the video content is going to try and move to more stricter scripted content that's going to be a little more consumable. There'll still be the streams. I'm going to try and tussle between the two, but I haven't figured out how the fuck I'm going to do this yet. This is pondering at this point. What? Yeah, my life has been through has been in a situation of making it through a lot of hardships and limitations on my functionality right now. I will figure out the ways around this so that I can continue delivering your comrades content. Um, mm, why not for Marxist readings? I say it copies on the external hard drives and on Google Drive. I should have done that and I didn't because I'm a fucking moron. But I will keep that in mind. That's fucking, that's, that's good thinking. Um, uh, um, new developments are coming for my channel. A news and information arc that me and a few comrades are organizing will be evolving the already anti-imperialist landscape of my channel. Sharpening the sword we wield against fascism, revisionism, and liberalism sharpening it as to make precision strikes against the rising revisionist and fascist tide. One of our first points of call being to make documentaries on the history of revisionism and the main philosophies that drive revisionism. So keep your eyes peeled for this content as it is hella important that we know our enemies, especially those like revisionists who infiltrate our ranks. Um, and obviously the blaring thing. I'm trans. <laughs> I've known for a while. Haven't come out for it until last year, though. And then pretty much the moment I started coming out with it, I fucking got inspired to get on HRT, which I've been on for is it six weeks now. Six weeks of HRT. And so, like, Obviously, that's a massive shift in how a lot of things are going to go down and also is going to massively change how I appear and how I, uh, um, uh, I, I actuate myself. I don't mean, a, I mean, appear visually it will change, but I'm, what I mean by appear is I mean how I will be articulating myself. And also, uh, you know, it might just be a bit of a ha huh for people because it's such a, uh, you know, um, uh, uh, you know, it's um, you know, it's a it's a massive hot for the be uh, that being me finally open up and expressing myself as a trans woman. I am still in uh, a purgatory with how my livelihood actually goes down um, uh, until I can actually escape away from my town because of the abusive and uh, transphobic family that I have to be entangled with. Although my sister's based and I can speak to her about things. Um, oh, thank you. Um, uh, um, uh, uh, but not only am I still taking the first um, steps of expression, but as I've already said, I've already, also already begun HRT. My transition is one of the most important that one of the absolute most important developments to ever occur in my life and so it will be taking up a lot of my time and will reduce my efficiency with content creation i hope not too much but holy fuck the first six months are said to be hell and my first month has had some messy emotional situations already so uh, well, the 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 boat is not going to be a, a, a sailing smoothie, but we'll see how well we can keep it uh, uh, keep it a roll. And like, uh, it's um, I I um, 
I hope you all are keeping well. All lots of love and respect and solidarity from me. Um, I'm feeling energetic enough to dump content. Um, dump is not the right word. Get shit done. So I may also get someone else that I've been needing to get done and upload in a moment. Either right now or I'm going to give myself a break and come back to it. But there's an article that I've got to read. I could read it now, but it won't give it justice if I have it in a video that doesn't have its title on there and isn't all for itself. I think it needs its own entire thing. It's called Girls You Can Hit. And it's really hitting nails on the head with the way that the uh, uh, fascism and uh, the, the patriarchal society itself targets um, uh, trans people, but specifically trans women. Um, and how misogyny is actually the way that trans men are targeted. Anti-revisionist, anti-liberal, uh, uh, anti-fascist, anti-imperialist, um, with all the neoliberal, social fascist, and social imperialist extra connotators involved. Uh, yeah, they all deserve to get fucked. Spot on. Um... Yeah, it's, um, why is my brain not working? Well, I'll, I'll, shit, find your words. All love, solidarity, and respect to your sisters and brothers. Uh, respect, if I can find the off button. No, that's the trash can. I'm good at this. <clears throat> So, I completely, completely disagree with the historical revisionist and misuse of the term patriarchy. With that said, I hope everybody enjoyed. There's a link into the description to the original video. Please give her your support, love, and solidarity.